What's up guys, my name is Justin from JusticeGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a dramatic black and white photo effect with a hint of pink. So this effect might sound simple but it's actually a really interesting take on your typical black and white photo because there's still some color in it. So the first thing you want to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. You don't really have to adjust anything here, we can just leave it at the basic settings. Now I'm going to use Command J on my keyboard to duplicate that black and white layer. You could also right click and select the duplicate layer button. But we're going to set this duplicated layer to an overlay blending mode. Now that's a little stark, so we're going to turn the opacity down to about 70%. So once we're there, the next thing we want to do is go to layer, new fill layer, solid color and select for the blending mode lighten and also set the opacity to about 70 percent so the color we want to use is a really dark burgundy or dark pink and the color code that I like is 1F0001 so it's hard to tell but what we actually just did was take the solid blacks and make them more of like a really dark pink Next up, we're going to add some lighting, you could say, by going to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient. So on this Gradient Fill Layer, you just want to select your classic black to white and leave it just like that and set the blending mode of this to Overlay. So what, you can, or what that does actually is kind of draws the eye from the bottom to the top of the photo. And you can see before and after it kind of adds some lighting. And then lastly, we're going to add that hint of pink, which is the key to this effect, by going to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, set the blending mode to darken this time, and set the opacity to about 50%, and select OK. Except this time, we want to use a color of FFD3FF. That's a, like the perfect pastel pink. So there's your final effect. Feel free to try it on a photo of your own and I think you'll like the kind of ink drawing type of quality it gives your image. Um, if you want to share, share your result with me, feel free to tag me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. My username is just this good, and I'll be sure to give you a comment. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials I upload on this channel. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.